Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this tab a little, little bit. So the other day was Prime Day on Amazon. So uh, being a Prime member, I headed over there and I picked up a few things. And one of the things that I decided to pick up was an Amazon Fire HD. So that's what this is. Now, one of the things you might be saying to yourself, but Joe, you can't run the Fire with the DJI Go 4 app. It's not on the Amazon App Store. And you're 100% right. But as you can see right here, we're running the DJI Go 4 app, and uh, it's connected to my Spark. So how did I manage this magic? Well, I've set up a web page to show you guys how to do this. I'm only going to talk at a high level of how to do it. Uh, in the fact, number one, it can be done. The maps do work. It is connected. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm working the maps here. Uh, the maps do work. Um, I'm connected to Wi-Fi as well as... I'm connected to OTG to the controller. So I'm living the best of both worlds right here. So I'm obviously at home, but I could tether this tether, tether this to my cell phone um, out in the field. And that's one of the reasons I like it with this cable. Uh, one of the things to note, if you do go to join this, and, and I found this pretty common between various, uh, both Android and iOS devices, um, what you should do is start the copter, Start the controller, let the two bind, uh, start the Go4 application here, and then join it with the uh, OTG cable. And then what will happen is I'll put it in the corner, there'll be a little pop-up that will look like this, and well, particularly on the uh, Spark, and it's just a little, I'm uh, sorry, on the Fire, where there's Spark, there's Fire, um, but there'll be a, a low power notification because of the connection. And then what will happen is it will allow it to connect. On some of the other tablets, it will also pop up and ask you, uh, again, which application do you want to use the OTG with. And again, if it's running, it, it, it works better. So just a little OTG tip uh, if you're having troubles with it out there. Uh, but anyways, I want to talk about the Spark a little bit. So how did I do this magic? Well, basically, the way I achieved this magic, and if I get, get to, let me touch the screen here. I want to try to get it to go away is uh, if you notice right here hopefully I'll zoom in on it uh, you'll notice the Google Play Store so I've installed the Google Play Store on the fire now there is a number of tutorials on the internet how to do it um, I have picked the easiest way at least for me to do it and I think overall to do it so I've created a web page. I'll have the link down below. What I suggest doing, and the way I suggest doing it, and that's what I want to talk through for a minute here, and this is also handy too, by the way, folks, even if you just want to put the Google Play Store on your Fire and you don't care about using it with your drone, uh, same difference here. So long story short, you need five applications to make all this work. And I have this outlined uh, on this web page. So one of the key applications is ES File Explorer. You'll use ES File Explorer to run the other four Google programs. The other, the, well, they're all actually APK files. So an APK is, is nothing more than an Android file. Sort of like in the Windows world, you have EXE. Well, in the Android world, which this is all this is, by the way, is an Android tablet, you have the APK files. And you'll need four of those APK files, which forms the structure that the Google Play Store uses, including the Google Play Store, which is the fourth file. You need to install those files in the order on the website, um, one through four. Now, the, the one piece here is um, doing it from the tablet. In other words, allowing them to download on the tablet to the tablet I think works better. You know, now if you're sort of a novice at this stuff, kind of close your ears, but if you have a little bit of experience, you can also download these same files from this website to your PC, sideload them onto this, and then use ES File Explorer to run them and install them. What I found by doing it that way is you also have, you can potentially have some security problems and, and it might complain for security. So, anyways, Long story short, I found the easiest way is just to download these, go to the uh, links, 
download them directly on the fire and run them on the fire and install them on the fire and works perfect um, so anyways like I said I have the link to that down below now I haven't really flown with this I've messed around inside it's been raining for the past couple days I haven't been able to get out I hopefully will we'll get to do this pretty soon uh, I also have the DJI Go app for the uh, Phantom 3 installed that too also works I haven't had a problem I've installed Hover I've also installed Leechy um, so all of them seem to work, at least on the bench, hooking to the various. So I experimented. Again, it's been raining outside with the Spark and the Phantom 3, and all of it seems to work, including the maps. So uh, I, I'm pretty excited about this. And it also appears to be relatively snappy. You know, because the thing is, I picked this tablet up for like 29 bucks on Prime Day. I think they're normally around 40 bucks, 39 bucks depending if you buy it with specials where it displays ads when it sort of goes to sleep or something like that. But to, to get a, basically a sub $50 tablet that's pretty decent in size. Now, it is a little bit too big to put in the arms of this, both uh, thickness-wise uh, as well as width-wise. And also, one of the things, the power button's up here, so it kind of impacts. So I'm using it with these 3D printed, if you go back a couple episodes that I did up, and it actually works out pretty good and I can you know again get my fingers in here like this and it really is a good feel so I, I'm happy with that and again I'm using the um, uh, OTG cable in this case to connect it now I'm not using the shorter OTG connectors because it's it's too short to make the run with this cable so I'm using this uh, because the connector is way up here um, for this but again uh, all seems to be working and again I've gone through the, all the functionality with this um, and it all seems to work and again it's it's pretty much comparable to my tab 3 or my other Android tablets so uh, anyways wanted to share this with you because again I think this is a great alternative or at least so far seems to be now I'm gonna take it out in the field once it starts ra stops raining here but I think uh, in general the fact is I found if it's gonna run the application and everything and it binds with the copter uh, you can see all my changes here happen between the controller. It's, it's, it's working. Now, I have also read on some of the DJI forums, you know, other people, um, you know, have also got this working. But they've had to go through certain gyrations. And, and again, a big part of this video is developing this web page on how to install this. So also, let me know in the comments below if you see any changes you need made to the page or something. Now, uh, the other thing, just before closing on this, if you notice, when you go to install the four Google apps, yes, there's four Google apps that you have to install, the process is this rinse and repeat, and you'll notice that in the instructions. So that's why it's basically, you know, same thing, same thing, same thing. You're just repeating the same thing, four different applications, four times, and that's all it is. Um, so anyways, hopefully this was handy. I'm really excited about uh, using this and seeing how this actually works out in the field. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Maybe what you're thinking for lunch. Subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Don't forget I'll have the link to this page I've set up uh, down there. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.